Yo, what is up? It's Lamani, and I'm coming to you with my first Transformers Earth Wars video, as you can see on the screen. And I am so, so, so hyped about this game. You know, I just started playing. Uh, me, D-Nice, and a bunch of people from my NBA just started playing. And honestly, I couldn't be happier with this game right now. It is so much fun. You know, it's just like Clash of Clans. Well, not just like Clash of Clans. But it's basically, you know, similar to that, but Transformer style, which is just amazing to me. And then, you know, on top of the game being amazing and just really addictive and actually really fun for me, the community, like the person leading the official Twitter of this game, cares about the community. You know, they're uh, showing support, showing love. You know, I sent out a tweet saying that I was going to make a video about their game. They retweeted that. I sent out some more tweets. I've been showing them a lot of love because, honestly, the way they're running their company, it makes me realize how a company should be run and how it should treat, you know, its customers and the people playing the game because, you know, like they said, this game, they wouldn't be anything if they didn't have us. And I mean, that's so true, but it's, you know, just refreshing to see, uh, you know, the company look at it that way. And, you know, it's just, I was already excited about the game, but the way that the, that they are treating people just makes me even more excited to be completely honest. Like, uh, it's just, it's just refreshing to see. And I mean, honestly, I sent a tweet out, uh, dissing my NBA, like praising, Transformers on how they were take treating people and showing us love and you know supporting the people that stream it or YouTube it like I'm starting to do and like I'm going to be doing in the future and uh you know they took it they read it the wrong way but they thought I was saying bad stuff about them and they took it upon themselves to slide into my DMs and clear up everything which I thought was amazing and not only did they clear stuff up but they were then showing even more support telling me uh who I should contact within them to like help my uh, videos and help me stream because I am going to start streaming this for sure after you know talking to them and uh, they said that they would give these people my information so they could contact me and you know get this going and uh, you know that I'm helping them they're helping me and it's just a beautiful sight and you know it's just it's just honestly it's refreshing but that is all well and good, but we gotta get into this video. Uh, you know, I gotta show the game. I mean, it is a lot of fun, like I was saying. So, you know, you just gotta build your base, which I am currently doing. You know, I have a level 5 HU, as you can see. I do have the resources to make it a level 6, but, but the key to games like this, and this game is no different, is you have to level up everything you have to the max level before you level up your HQ. I mean, technically you don't have to, but you should. If you rush your build, you will be killed for it in the end. You know, once you get up to a higher level, everyone your level will be just be destroying you because you won't be strong enough. So rushing your build is never a good thing. So, you know, before I level up my HQ, I got to level up all this stuff. Uh, as you can see, uh, my resource... The things that get my resources are all max level. I made sure to do that first. I always like to max my resources first. And then, you know, I am uh, at the point where the stuff that contains the resources, the storage units are almost full upgraded to, you know, they both need one level. I had to build an, I got to build a new one with level 5 HQ, so I've been leveling it up all the way. And then I still have all my defenses need one upgrade, you know, at four hours a piece uh, so I gotta gotta do that and then I have to upgrade my uh, defense like the auto what's it called the Autobot outpost which you can put one of your Autobots in and I have Optimus in for when I get attacked you know he helps defend my base and then I gotta upgrade my walls all of that needs to be done before I go on to the next level you know, so I can upgrade my walls, and then I can actually upgrade them a second time. So I gotta, I gotta have to get a whole lot more alloy before I upgrade uh, a second time. Um, you know, I'm gonna start these two out or four hours. Uh, I'm gonna start two things. I can only build two things at twice because I only have two bots. So I'm gonna jump into that. I'm gonna find one of these that I can actually do, which it doesn't look like I can do any of them. I need more alloy. 
I definitely need more alloy to do any of this, which is unfortunate. I'm going to hop into a battle. Uh, it's definitely unfortunate because I just spent a bunch of alloy on my walls, not even thinking about it. I mean, thinking I didn't have enough. So I'm going to hop into a battle real quick, you know, which isn't isn't a bad thing. You get to see me, uh, my in-battle strategy, I guess. You know, this is the team I'm rocking with right now. I d haven't spent any money like some of my alliance members to where they have insane amounts of bots. You know, some of them already have four stars. I'm stuck with two two stars, but one of them is Optimus, and he is not a normal two star. And look at this base. You know, not a lot of energon, but a ton of alloy, which is exactly what I need. If I beat this guy, I should be able to upgrade, no problem. Uh, I'm going to attack from the left, even though it does look like the stronger part. Uh, I'm going to throw down Mirage. I'm going to throw them all down right in this corner. And then I'm going to use Mirage to disable that uh, cannon. And I'm going to... He's out of range. I'm going to use Optimus to tell them to target the mortar first because those mortars deal a lot of long-range damage and they can they can really mess you up, I'm not even going to lie. We're going to take out the turrets first. You know, those are the only things that can hurt me. Uh, I don't know what my team's doing. They're just having fun over there, destroying everything, I guess. But there we go. There we go. I fast-forwarded it. You know, I, it was a foregone conclusion that I was going to win. But we got the alloy that I needed. So... I get to uh, upgrade one of my defense things. I don't know what I'm going to upgrade at the moment. I probably don't have all that much. I only have 12,000, so that's going to limit me. I can do this, though, so I am going to just go ahead and level up my cannon. So that'll take another four hours. Uh, technically, three hours and 55 minutes, because a cool thing about this game is you do get to speed the last five minutes up for free. So no coins needed to do that. Uh... Alliance chat's going crazy right now. We just added a bunch of new members. You know, my alliance is the Cam Formers, all from Camcord and people that stream or in the stream or YouTube and all this good stuff is how we're making this alliance. And, you know, we just added a bunch of new members. Uh, and I actually did just get promoted to Officer, which was legit from D Nice. You know, he, he is running the team. Uh,. Somebody's commenting on my videos that they can't see anything, but I don't think that's my part. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're just going to try to watch stream and play at the same time. Yeah, D-Nice is streaming right now. I had to, I recorded this video, but it you know it messed up. Not really, just the, vol the audio was weird. So I couldn't step foot into this game, this awesome game with on a bad note. You know, this game deserves good audio. So I'm re-recording. Uh, one thing I do want to make want to point out is uh so i was a cool thing about this game is you can go to your battle history and you can watch your attacks and your defenses which is which is pretty awesome you know you can gain strategy by that and uh you can see how people attack you because personally i don't know how well my base is set up uh i have been attacked twice the first time i lost but then after that so right here, I was attacked and lost. But that was before I set my base up at all. And then I set up my base and I was attacked again. And, uh, you know, we're going to watch that because I think it is an awesome feature that you can watch how people attack you. You know, how people attack you is very key. I mean, it shows you where you are weakest or at least where they think you are weakest. And uh, you can, you know, fortify positions that are weak. If someone beats you, you can see how they beat you. And then you can fix that and, you know, become stronger by seeing your weaknesses. You fix your weaknesses and you become stronger. So this is an awesome feature. Uh, you know, they attacked all from my left and kind of from the middle. They spread out and uh, I kind of kind of destroyed this guy. Uh, Optimus is coming out. He... Alright, so yeah, they're already down to one. I still have uh, two cannons and two laser turrets left. And Optimus, who actually just died. But, yeah, it's looking like all my cannons and turrets were firing at him. And he didn't stand a chance, so it was a nice victory. A nice defensive victory. Uh, you know, those are always awesome. Uh, to beat someone when they attack you is is, is definitely a good feeling. Uh, we are going to go into one that I lost, though. Because during my last video, I tried to jump into a battle, and I actually lost it. But it was a learning experience. Uh, it was an hour ago. Uh... You know, I, I, I like the way this guy set up his base. And I'm honestly thinking about using it for myself, which is a great 
way to make your base stronger. I mean, look how this guy's base is set up. I think it's awesome. You know, when you face somebody, if their base is difficult and you like the way it's set up, I mean, I think that's a really smart way to improve your own base and improve how you have been playing and how are how you are going to play. Uh, so with this attack, you know, I accidentally clicked uh, Mirage in way before I wanted to, so it was kind of rushed, and, I mean, I stood no chance. Uh, it, it was pretty saddening. Uh, they, 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 they killed me. They killed me. But back to the main point of re-going to this is the way that base is set up. You know, they had four across, and then their uh, mortar a little bit in front, and then a, a cannon or a turret, I can't remember which one, up in front that was just kind of to deter you from going that way. But I, I kind of like the way that base is set up. And, you know, I'm really thinking about, you know, ad adapting that and using it as my own. But I am not sure. I, I'm not I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I don't really need to worry about it for at least another 30 minutes because I do have a shield up at the moment. Because in this game, a cool feature is if you get attacked, you get a shield for a certain amount of time. I do not know how long the shield lasts, but I know you do get a shield. And, you know, even with a shield, I get to uh, uh, I get to attack people. You know, attacking people doesn't uh, cancel out the shield. So even with the shield up protecting me, I can still go out and attack, which is definitely, definitely a cool feature, and I, I'm digging that. And then, yeah, uh, you, you gain medals in this game for all your attacks. Like, uh, here, I'll go, I'll go out and battle somebody else. I think my cooldown should be done. Uh, after every attack, you get a cooldown on your Autobots or Decepticons, depending on what side you choose. You know, your bots just have a cooldown. My cooldown is over, however, so we're going to jump into another battle. Uh, one downside is you cannot skip somebody. So, you know, I have to attack this man. If I retreat, I lose medals. Uh, if I get defeated, I lose 18. If I win, I gain 11. But, uh, you know, I'm not just going to retreat because a person doesn't have the right amount of resources for me or, you know, the amount that I was looking for. I'm going to just push through it and beat them anyway, you know, because you don't want to lose medals. Uh, medals are basically just your trophy, trophies in this game. Uh, deploy, Jesus. Uh, gonna use Mirage to disable this cannon right here. That's what I always do, and then I always, uh, target the mortar, because those mortars can do insane amount of, an insane amount of damage from distance, and then, you know, that's just never fun to have that happen to you. We're just gonna keep attacking their, alright, this is, it's basically over. I did lose an Autobot, but, you know, they stood no chance. And I got an easy victory in my opinion. So I get 3,200 alloy, 29, basically 3,000 uh, energon, and 11 metals. So, you know, the metals is the big thing I wanted to bring to your attention because that is how you are ranked in the game. Uh, it goes by metal count that you win or lose from battling other players. And there's a leaderboard. So I have 441 medals at the moment. You know, you can go ahead and look at the leaderboard. That puts me in 25,000th place in the game. Which, I mean, I guess that's not bad considering I started, you know, yesterday. You know, can't complain with that. But, uh, you know, I do have to give a team shout out because uh, looking at my team leaderboard, uh, we got two people now ahead of me. We had one, but, you know, uh, Raw All 09 is killing it too with 461 medals. But look at that, Sean Moore. My boy Sean from the Spiders is absolutely killing the medal count. Uh, he has uh, Zone 3 unlocked, and he said he is just, that is the way to do it for him. So far, he is just, you know, wiping up the floor and getting all those medals. <laughs> Sorry, I was at a loss for words. I didn't know how I wanted to say that. But yeah, so he is just killing that medal count with 911 already. You know, we all started at around the same time, so that is awesome to see him already that high. Uh, I have research. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go ahead and research these guys because they are one star. You know, this is my these are all my Autobots at the moment, so I only have two two stars. One is Optimus Prime though, and he is not a normal two star, so that is kind of good. But 
Other than that, you know, all one stars. I am just going to go ahead and research him. That upgrade from 10 to 11 is absolutely huge for your Autobots, by the way. You know, so it is kind of good that I went in and did that. I've already done that for three Autobots. And, you know, going from 10 to 11 and then being able to level them up to level 20 is crucial. You know, Optimus Prime is now way better than he ever could have been, obviously, at level 10. You know, the leveling starts to take longer, but it is definitely worth it, in my opinion. You know, your Autobots just get an insane amount stronger. So, you know, you gotta gotta do that if you're not doing it. And again, you have to just level up everything. I know it's a slow build, but it is definitely the way to do it. If you rush your build, you will regret it in the end. So, you know, if you take anything from this video... <laughs> well, okay, you gotta take two things from this video. First thing that you need to take from this video is play this game. Because it is... Uh, sorry, because it is awesome, and it is a lot of fun, and the community is, you know, it's just now starting up, and it is growing, and I think this game is going to be huge, and the people running this game are so, so much better than other companies, and I mean, they seriously care, and it, it is apparent, and it shows, and you know, it is not being overlooked by me or anybody on my team from coming where we have been, you know, we really appreciate it, and it definitely means a lot to have a company that actually shows support and shows that they care. And, you know, getting that free crystal, uh, you, uh, I didn't even talk about that, but you do get a free crystal every eight hours, I think. So, you know, four and a half more hours and I get a free crystal and that's a free Autobot. So that is, that is awesome. And yeah, it's just, I'm just digging this game. I'm liking the way it's set up. Uh, you can go in, upgrade your bots, like, obviously. So you can upgrade their levels, or you can upgrade their abilities, which I have not done yet, but you can do. And, yeah, I'm just, I'm just liking this game. You really, really, really need to do it. You really need to download, get, download this game and start playing. It is a lot of fun, and it is going to explode, and you want to get in on the ground level. You know, gosh, I just can't say enough how much I'm liking this game and how much you should download it. But the other thing, going back to the two things that you need to take from this video, the other thing, the second thing is level slowly. Take your time. Do not rush your build. Make sure every single thing is upgraded before you upgrade your HQ or you will regret it in the end. You know, it's better to be stronger at your level than weak at the next level. It's just how I'm looking at it and how you should honestly look at it too. So uh, I hope you download the game. I hope you start building right and once you do, and if you do, which you better do, you need to hit me up or D-Nice or anybody on my team. And you need to hurry up and get in this alliance because, you know, we were dominating my NBA and we're not going to do anything less with this game. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with some stuff. But we are going to dominate this game and you want to be on this alliance. Trust me, we are going to run this game like we ran my NBA. You know, we're not going to settle for second place. Uh, we are. We have not done a war yet, but we are definitely going to do a war. We are going to be doing wars, and I don't expect anything less than to dominate this game. So you are definitely going to want to jump into our team on the ground floor and start building with us so we can, you know, become the best alliance in the game, you know, like I did with the Spiders. And, yeah, just, I hope, I hope, I really, really hope you download this game. And, you know, if you like this video, be sure to like, sub, and follow on Twitter, at Lamani YouTube, like always. And leave a comment down below telling me what you think about this game, telling me what you want to see in the future about this game. And, yeah, just share your thoughts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace.